FSA's mountain bike disc brake bleed procedure is quite simple and uses a two syringe process with FSA mineral oil. To start, have the brake secured on a bike or on a bleed fixture. Stage 1. Fill the syringes with about 10 milliliters of FSA brake fluid. Close the hose using the red clip and pull back slightly on the plunger to degas the fluid. Let the air bubbles rise to the top of the syringe and force the air out by unlocking the clip and depressing the plunger. Lock the syringes and set them aside. Remove the wheel. Using T10 Torx wrench, remove the pad retaining pin. Remove the pads, two, and pad spring. Insert the thin stage one bleed spacer and the retaining pin. At one lever, turn the stroke adjust dial to maximum stroke plus setting. Orientate the lever so that the lever bleed port is at the highest point in the system and level to the ground. Remove the bleed lever bleed screw, attach syringe with the red clip closed. Repeat for the caliper. Now you are ready to bleed the brake. Unlock syringes and cycle fluid 10 to 20 times. You may need to hold one syringe in place while pushing on the other syringe in order to advance the caliper pistons against the bleed spacer. Ensure that all air in the system is forced out and into the syringes and the pistons are advanced against the bleed spacer. Lock the level syringe and strap lever to the handlebar. Rotate the caliper in all directions and tap gently to release air out of the system. Lightly push or bump the plunger to evacuate air. Pull slightly on caliper syringe plunger to evacuate any remaining air bubbles. Stage 2. Remove the retaining pin and stage 1 bleed spacer and push the caliper pistons back into the caliper. It may be necessary to use a piston spreading tool to push the pistons back in the bores. Insert stage two thick bleed block. Reinstall the retaining pin. Apply light suction or bump the syringe to evacuate any remaining air. Loosen lever strap and slowly pressurize the system from the caliper syringe while slowly releasing the lever by hand. Lock the caliper syringe and remove from caliper. Replace bleed port O-ring and install the bleed port screw in the caliper. Okay. 
Unlock lever syringe and gently pull back on the plunger to evacuate any remaining air. Rotate the lever body in all directions and tap gently to release air out of the system. Depress syringe plunger to repressurize system. Lock the syringe and remove from the lever. Replace bleed port O-ring and install the bleed port screw in the lever. With brake sealed, clean entire system with isopropyl alcohol and a clean rag, including the interior of the caliper piston faces and bleed block. Replace brake pads, two, and retaining screw. Reinstall the wheel and before riding the bike, squeeze the lever firmly several times to reset the brake pads. Now you are ready to enjoy the ride with FSA disc brakes.